Hi, this is Mrs. Olson, and today we're going to start reading The Odyssey by Homer, and we are reading it from our Prentice Hall literature book for ninth graders. Now before we start reading, I would like you to turn to page 948 in your Prentice Hall literature book, and go ahead and look over the sections entitled Literary Analysis and Background, and then fill out on the worksheet you have, the worksheet that's entitled The Odyssey Assignment Sheet Number 1, if you would go ahead and fill out the sections, literary analysis and background information, you can also use your notes that we've been taking all week uh, to fill out this information. So right now, if you would pause the video for just a moment and answer those questions. Okay, great. Now let's begin reading. We're gonna start with part one, The Adventures of Odysseus. Can you read along with me? In the opening verses, Homer addresses the muse of epic poetry. He asks her help in telling the tale of Odysseus. Sing in me, muse, and through me tell the story of that man skilled in all ways of contending, the wanderer, harried for years on end after he plundered the stronghold on the proud height of Troy. He saw the townlands and learned the minds of many distant men and weathered many bitter nights and days in his deep heart at sea while he fought only to save his life, to bring his shipmates home. But not by will nor valor could he save them, for their own recklessness destroyed them all, children and fools. They killed and feasted on the cattle of Lord Helios, the sun, and he who moves all day through heaven took from their eyes the dawn of their return. Of these adventures, Muse, daughter of Zeus, tell us in our time, Lift the great song again. Now, one thing I'd like you to notice as we're reading this is to the side of the textbook, there are some notes and it gives us information about some of the, some of the words on the page. So there is a definition for the word muse, for the vocabulary word plundered, and then an explanation of Helios and Zeus that are both part of this first section of the reading. 